Dokies and Dilip here about another Leoran board video for Stream Up, and this is an extension that Silverlink has made. It is super powerful. So you know how you got a bit of an issue with Leoran board getting live follow alerts and donation alerts? Well, have no fear. Silverlink has made it so it connects with Stream Elements or Stream Labs, and you can pull that information live. So you get live information that you can use for alerts chat messages, uh, well you can use it for anything, you guys have probably seen all my Leon board videos, so let's just get into it, I'm going to show you how to install it, what it does, all that jazz, put your over the stone, let's go. So as I previously said, it is going to be available for Stream Elements and Stream Labs. So just you're probably already using one of them as your bot for your thank you and your follow alerts and things like that. But it's just going to integrate directly into it. So let's get it downloaded. You download it straight from our Stream Up website just here. It's not live as of yet, but I've got the download already ready to go. So if we head into the downloads folder, you should have Stream Triggers after you've downloaded it. And we're just going to get that installed into Leoran Board. So the way that we do that uh, the best thing to probably do is copy this and make sure you put it in your Leoran board folder so I'm gonna go into Leoran board and then we've got the Leoran board receiver folder just here and you can save it into ext if you like just there it just means that it's there for safekeeping if you ever need to update uh, anything or anything like that and you need to reinstall the extension you don't have to re-download it it's there ready to go so now we can open up Leoran board so we'll uh, fire this open make sure we get it connected to OBS and we'll make sure we connect it to Twitch as well because we're going to be needing both of those things. So it should be all grayed out. If you have any issues like that, you can see my other videos that will show you how to do that. And we're just going to press install extension, select extension file, and we're going to go across to the uh, ext folder that we're in. So in Leoran board or wherever we downloaded and saved it to ext and open stream triggers lbe. And it's going to ask us to select the transmitter. This is in the Leoran board folder. So when you go in Leoran board, you should see TSL underscore transmitter. Just open that up and press yes to replace it. Mine's saying it's already installed and I want to replace it. So I'm going to say yes. Yours shouldn't do that if you've not already got it. And this brings up this little uh, thing just here. Right, so I'm going to show you how to use it with stream elements first. So all we need to do to get it all working is right click here and we're just going to go to edit commands and you'll see right at the bottom here send to extension stream triggers and we're just going to click on this socket service and bang it to stream elements like so then we're going to head over to the stream elements website as you can see just here and then we're going to go up and go to settings just there and we're going to press show secrets you don't want to show anybody this so i'm going to blur it out in the video but we're going to copy this whole jwt token just here it should be just a huge string of num uh, letters and numbers and we're going to copy that and we're going to just paste it into the auth token field just there like so and that is it that's all we need to do press done press done again and we can jump into obs we're all connected just here uh, so we've got blank obs here i've only got a text source in there so i'm going to show you how that integrates as well so jumping back into stream elements and go to my overlays on the left and then press edit on any of them we're just going to trigger a um, uh, emulate basically a follow function so uh, once we're on here go down to the bottom you'll see emulate and we can press follower event and you'll see in the top left it should work in your twitch chat now it'll say okay kona or whatever it's just a random name just followed the channel and that is basically running this button just here so if we right click you can see uh latest follower has just followed the channel hog champ as you can see just there so we press done I press done again we can test something else if we wanted to do you can use this for all your triggers if you like so a tip event type in that so Suzette gave 10 undefined so when we're doing a test it does say undefined uh, but that is basically just the currency that it's going to be and then obviously we get the full message just there Right, so now I'm going to show you how to get it connected to Streamlabs if you're going to be using any of the Streamlabs stuff. So similar to what we've done before, right click and go to edit commands on the init button. And we're going to change the socket service this time to Streamlabs just here. And we need to get a new token. So to get that, we jump to the Streamlabs uh, dashboard. Make sure you're all logged in that. On the left hand side, you should see account. Open that up, go down to settings. And then we will see a API settings section just here. We're going to open that up and we're going to go to... Uh, 
API tokens just there. And we're going to just press copy for the your socket API token. Press copy there. Make sure you don't show anybody uh, any of the information that's on there at all. Uh, otherwise, you, you'll be in for some, uh, some bad time. And we jump back into the Orange board, and we're just going to paste that code directly into here like so and press done. Press done again and now we're connected. So we can tell that we're connected if I just pull up uh, OBS at the same time just here. So you can see OBS and I'm going to go into the alert box section just on the left here. So now I can press the test follow button and you should see just here, Andy Lippy just followed the, the channel, uh, PogChamp just there. I could test the donation as well and you'll see Andy Lippy uh, gave 19 GBP tip, this message and the message there. So now we've got that all working, which is perfectly fine. Let's actually make our own command. So to do that, we're just going to go into here, right click on both of these sections here. Or if you are using different alerts as well, you can uh, do the same. We're going to right click, press edit twitch trigger and we're going to delete these. Okay, press done. Edit Twitch Trigger, Delete, just done again, and we're going to press Done there. We're going to create a new deck, or it's up to you if you've already got a deck there. We're just going to create a new button, so we make a blank button and add a Twitch Trigger. So to find out the Twitch Triggers we're going to use, look at the, uh, the, the documentation with it. So we're going to do a follower alert just here, so I'm going to follow this section here as the example. So the extension trigger is ST Twitch Follow, so I'm going to use that. Uh, so I'm going to copy that and paste that into here under extension trigger just there so we paste that directly press done it needs to be exactly the same okay it's got to have the same capitalization all that jazz so we're gonna right click and press add commands press the plus sign and we're gonna type in trigger pull just here and we're gonna pull value and if we look here the received information value one is the follower or subscriber name so we're gonna go pull value one and we're gonna say turn to real is false because it's a, a put a person's name it's not a number so we're going to type in here uh follow underscore name so uh, i'll put follower name actually there we go so we're going to use this variable now as the follower name so if i press the plus sign and go to messages uh, and i'm going to do a twitch chat message just here and i'm going to use this variable so i'm going to copy that do a slash dollar sign follower name a dollar sign slash has just followed the channel bloggers there we go let's delete the j there press done press done again and then now when i test in streamlabs now we should get the unique message that we've just set up so press test follow Andy Lippy has just followed the channel Poggers, just like so. And we can do the same again if we want to do a donation message so we right click create a new blank button edit twitch trigger we jump back to the documentation, look at the tip donation. So we want to use ST tip. Uh, this will be changed. It shouldn't be all in capitals. It should be just like this. So press the plus sign, extension trigger, ST space tip. Only T is a capital there. Press done. Add a command. And we're going to pull four bits of information. So we're going to do some trigger pulls. Oh, twigger. Twigger pulls. I can't type today. What is wrong with me? There we go. Trigger pull. And we're going to pull value one. Let's have a look. We've got value one, two, three, and four for all the different things we're going to pull. So we're going to do value one. And I'm going to copy this and we're going to paste it a few times, four times. Change this to two. Change this to three. Change this to four. And what we got, let's have a look. So variable is going to be the first one's username, then tip amount, then currency, and then message. So I'm going to do tip underscore username. The next one be tip underscore uh, amount and then tip underscore currency and then tip underscore message you can actually call these whatever you want so turn to real is false on the first one because it's a name second one's a number so i'm going to turn that to true and then false and then false now we can do whatever we want with this information so i'm just going to do a twitch chat message you can do absolutely anything you want so i'm going to do a chat message and we'll do the username so we'll copy that and we'll do slash dollar sign uh, tip underscore username has just tipped and then we'll do the uh, amount so copy this amount slash dollar sign like that just as we put a variable in as usual uh, and then we'll put the currency in afterwards as well so slash dollar sign and drop the currency um what an absolute legend yes and then what I'm going to do is use the tip message and put that on screen. So I can do a, uh, a text source change. 
you, this is how you can make your own alerts. We've got loads of stuff coming on stream up very soon. And I'm just going to use that variable and put that on screen. So slash dollar sign, use that variable and dollar sign slash, press done, press done again. And then now when I press, you probably see there's a bit of information there. That's going to change to a message and then we're going to get a new message in the, uh, in the Twitch chat. So if I press test donation, so Andy Lippy has just tipped... 76 GBP, one absolute legend. This is a test donation for 76 pound. So that is the actual message. So if anybody taps in a message when they drop you a tip, that will get displayed on screen. You could use that information to basically do text to speech if you wanted to. It's completely up to you how you use that information in Leoran board. Check out all my other videos around Leoran board and that'll be able to show you all the things that you can do with it, all right? There are other things in this extension like controlling YouTube and stuff like that. So I will be covering that in a video later on. So make sure you are subscribed, okay? And if you want to support the channel, because obviously these videos take a long time, then consider joining my Patreon or the uh, the members page or even support stream up on their Patreon as well. Okay, guys, put your rock over the stone and I'll see you in the next one. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.